What's up guys? So in this video, we're going to do an installation of the new headlights. These are the factory ones. So what we're going to do, well, what you pretty much going to need is panel popper, 10 mil socket, and that's about it. And so far, this car doesn't have the right hardware. The hardware that's supposed to be is this right here. About this, you have to see it. So that's the part it's actually supposed to have in here. But whoever had this car before, I guess had to do some kind of work, or whatever. But let's get started. So this is gonna be the first. Let's see if we can zoom in. The first one. So you're gonna take this boat out. So I'm doing this with one hand, y'all too. So bear with me. Now we're gonna take out the next one. And I'm not gonna edit this video because I wanna see, show y'all how long this actually takes to do a headlight replacement, but it might be quicker for y'all if y'all are doing this with two hands, but I'm doing this with one, so time might be a little different. As you know that those two millimeter bolts is up, taking out, now you can take your panel popper. Now me, I don't care if I'm scratching up the paint because I'll be modifying this car, so it really don't matter. This one's already broke. All right, so after you get those off, it's supposed to be one, two, Three, four, and five. You gotta take off. Now, next thing you wanna do is one hand, like how I'm doing, gently pull it out on both sides. and do it like that. For those who wanna take the bumper completely off, it's gonna be eight bolts under here. They also 10 millimeters. But I'm not gonna take the whole bump off because I think that's kind of overkill. But now what we're gonna do is take out the other two 10 millimeters. It's gonna be in the front. Also, for some of y'all, why y'all doing the headlight replacement? I don't care. Yeah, because I'm gonna be having this car repainted, but put some tape here. That way, when you're taking this bumper off, you ain't scratching your paint or damaging anything. I'm gonna swap this off for a longer one. Thank you. 
the suck on it with one hand. Up with this, but this boat really doesn't want to come out. But this is gonna be the next two boats we're gonna take out. Also, 10 millimeter. Now we're going to do the other side. So this, alright, so this is lights are missing the boat. Alright, so. Now what you want to do is gently lift the tab up over the grommet. Alright, so now the next thing you want to do is disconnect all the wiring that's connected to the factory headlight. Now for this, you push this little tab down and then pull it up. Now, what we're going to do is take the marker Bow out and then take this bow out. Now, this car is different from my 2008, but this is pretty much screwed into the fact the back of the headlight. So, what you want to do is get a Phillips head. Take this out. Damn, this headlight's fucked. Rusted out. So now what you wanna do? Set that aside. This highlight was screwed anyway because water was getting in. Plus I hate factory. So let's go into the garbage. Now you wanna do the same thing? to the other side, disconnect everything. Hey, Not much, yeah. Disconnect. So I guess on, depending on the model year, it's slightly different. But so far, what I'm seeing on the back of these headlights is slightly different.
this headlight ain't bad, so I might sell this one. Not for the wiring harness. We got this style headlight. This is what you want to do. This bulb is going to be the well wiring. It's going to be for the daytime running lights, the LEDs, halos, and all that. So take out that finisher bulb and connect it. I'm gonna set the camera down for a minute so I can connect this. All right, so that's connected. So now what you do is push, push it in. Good angle, and push it in and lock it into place. Put in the marker light so part turn signal bulb. Take this plastic off and then put your turn signal bulb in here. Alright, so this is bigger, the socket's bigger compared to this. I might have to get an adapter for that, but we're gonna continue anyway. Now, you want to take this and connect it to that. Oh, sorry, wrong thing. But we're gonna do the same thing for this headlight. So, once again, take this bulb out, then connect it to this piece. Same step, slowly put it in and lock it into place. And then the same thing, take this little protective thing off, and this is where the side marker goes. It goes in there. Yeah. I'm not going to take this off completely, but just enough so where it clears when I put it back on the car. This wire and connect it to this one. Then get this wire and connect it to this. What you want to 
door. So now yeah, we'll set this down for a minute. Alright, so the issue we have here is this is in the way, so it's doing some clearance issues. So what we're gonna do is rip this off and relocate it somewhere else in the headlight. And we're gonna do the other heli. Same thing. Just pull the plastic to where enough. Go clear the fender and everything. procedure connect this one to this and then connect this one to this one and you hear a clicking sound Same thing as the other highlight, I'm going to rip this off, relocate it because it's doing some clearance issues. This I'm just going to throw in here to now. I've had to run to the store and find an adapter for that. But for now, you could just sit in there. Come on. How you doing? 
How much, yeah? All right, so now I'll take off the plastic. We're going to check see if they work in. That's working. That's working. I'll check the low beam. Working. Working. Now high beam. Alright. Turn that off. Now All we gotta do is put the bolt, bolts back in. One, two. One, two. Tighten those down. And we tighten the bolts on the side. Pop this back on. Pop, put your retainers back in. And that's it. See you on the next one. Peace.